In this video, we're going to have a look at how to simplify algebraic fractions. Now, algebraic fractions are just what you would expect them to be. They are fractions which involve some uh, degree of algebra. Now, to simplify an algebraic fraction, what you've got to do is you've got to think of the numerator and the denominator in terms of its constituent parts. So you want to break up the numerator and the denominator into factors. Okay. So if we look at a few examples here, first of all, and we'll show what we mean by that, okay? So if we look at the first example, let's say you're asked to simplify the fraction a n over b n, then we just think of that as a times n and b times n. So anything that appears top and bottom, you cancel out. So what you're left with is just a over b, okay? Now, that's really the same process you go uh, through when you're simplifying uh, a numerical fraction. So if you had, for example, 4 over 12, you could say, well, that's just going to be the same as 2 times 2 over 2 times 2 times 3. So if you think of that as 2 times 2 times 2 times 1, then the 2's cancel, 2's cancel, and you're left with 1 third as being your answer. Okay, so we're just doing the same kind of idea. We're breaking it down, uh, the numerator and the denominator into factors, and we're taking it from there. Let's look at another example. Let's look at x squared over 3x. Well, we just think of this as x times x, and the de denominator is 3 times x. Same thing, top and bottom, x and x, they cancel. So your final answer is just x over 3. Okay, let's look at another example. This time we'll have a mixture of numbers and letters on the top. So 3CD is your numerator, and we'll say 6D is your denominator. Now 3CD, well that's just the same as 3 times C times D. Your 6 can be thought of as 3 times 2, and you've also got your D as well. Okay, so just cancel out anything that appears the same top and bottom, whether it's a number or a letter, and you end up with C over 2 being your final answer as the simplified fraction. Now, when you're breaking things down into factors, sometimes your factors will be numbers, sometimes they'll be letters. Other times you might end up with an expression. So uh, we'll come to that later on. So here's another example. Let's say you have ABC over AC. Well, that's just A times B times C divided by A times C. The A's cancel, the C's cancel. So what you're left with is just B divided by 1, which is just B. All right? And we'll do one more. <coughs> Let's say we have 9 U squared V divided by 3 U V squared. So breaking this down, 9 is just 3 times 3. U squared is U times u, and the v is there as well. That's what makes up your top, uh, your numerator. For the bottom, you've got 3 times u times v squared, which is v times v. And then we just cancel out anything that appears top and bottom. So the 3s there cancel out. There's a pair of u's cancelling out. There's a pair of v's cancelling out. So what are we left with? On the top, you have 3u, and on the bottom, you have v. And that's you. Done. Okay. <clears throat> now, we mentioned earlier on that quite often what you end up with when you're maybe um, breaking down your, uh, your numerator and your denominator into factors, sometimes your factors will be um, expressions uh, as well as um, maybe having a letter or a number alongside. So let's look at a few examples of that type. Okay. So let's have a look at 2M plus 6 over 4. So you want to break up the top numerator into factors. Now, that just means you have to factorize it. Factorize by taking out your highest common factor. So you've got 2 times m plus 3. What's on the bottom? 4. Now, 4 can be thought of as 2 times 2. They cancel. So you're left with just m plus 3 on the top and 2 on the bottom. Okay. Let's look this time at 2p minus 4, and let's divide it by 2. Again, factorizing the top, you get 2 multiplied by p minus 2. And on the bottom, you've also got your 2. 
the twos cancel out. Uh, two is a factor on the top and the bottom, so you're left with p minus two as your final answer. Let's say this time you are asked to simplify four over four t minus eight. We'll just leave the top at the moment, the bottom. Our uh, denominator has the highest common factor of 4, so you end up with t minus 2. And then finishing off, 4 of the members just 4 times 1. The 4s cancel out, you're left with 1 on the top and t minus 2 on the bottom. And if we look at another one, we've got m squared plus m divided by m. You can get a common factor from the top. So factorizing the top, you end up with m times m plus 1. You've still got your m on the bottom. The m's cancel out. You're left with m plus 1 divided by 1, which is just m plus 1. OK. Let's have a look at a few more, where this time maybe what's going to cancel out isn't just a number or a letter, but maybe a whole um, algebraic expression. So. Let's have a look at these here. So let's say we put 3b plus 12, and we'll divide that by b plus 4. Factorizing the top, we end up with 3 brackets b plus 4. And what do you notice? You've got your b plus 4 appearing top and bottom. Now b plus 4 is a factor on the top. It's also a factor on the bottom. It's just 1 times b plus 4. The whole thing cancels out, and you're left with 3 over 1, which is just 3. <coughs> This time, let's have a look at uh, d squared plus d, and we'll divide that by d plus 1. Factorize the top, you end up with d brackets d plus 1, and you're dividing by d plus 1. Again, d plus 1 is a factor on the top and the bottom. The d plus 1s cancel out, so you're left with d over 1, which is just d. And we'll have a look at one more example of this type, and uh, we'll take m squared minus mn, and we'll divide it by 5m minus 5n. So factorizing the top, we end up with m brackets, m minus n. Factorizing the bottom, we end up with a common factor of 5 and m minus n. They again cancel out, so your final answer is m over 5. Okay. Now, you have to be quite uh, knowledgeable in terms of factorizing uh, when you're having to simplify uh, algebraic fractions, because you'll often have to maybe factorize a difference of two squares, or you'll have to factorize trinomials. So let's have a look at three examples like that, and then we'll give you a few questions to do yourselves as practice, okay? So m plus 3 over m squared minus 9. Now you can't factorize the top. There's no common factor for m and 3. For m squared minus 9, that's a difference of two squares, so we can break that up as m plus 3 multiplied by m minus 3. Now remember the top is just m plus 3 times 1. So what is common here? To the top and the bottom, the m plus 3. So they cancel, you're left with 1 on the top, m minus 3 on the bottom. And that's you finished. Let's this time look at y plus 2. Uh, and we'll divide it by y squared plus 4y plus 4. Now, you end up with y plus 2 on the top. Factorizing the trinomial on the bottom, you're going to end up with two uh, brackets. You're going to end up with y plus 2 times y plus 2. Okay. Now, again, the top is just y plus 2 times 1. So y plus 2 cancels on the top and the bottom. So you're left with 1 on the top and y plus 2 on the bottom. Okay. And we'll look at one more of this type. Let's... Us. Let's see if we can simplify y squared minus 5y plus 6 and 3y minus 9. 
Okay. Now, <clears throat> you should be expecting that something cancels out. So if I start with the denominator, so that's easier to factorize, I end up with 3 brackets y minus 3. And that then kind of tells me that the factor pair uh, I'm going to be using uh, for, for 6, that's going to be uh, 3 and 2, as opposed to 6 and 1, because both of these can be used to give you the 5 in the middle. So you want negative 5y, negative 3, negative 2, negative times a negative gives you the positive, so they cancel out. And you're left with y minus 2 on the top and 3 on the bottom. So that's how you factorize uh, in order to um, simplify algebraic fractions. Now, let's give you five questions to do yourselves just now, and then you can come back and check and see how you get on once you've had a bash at them. So we'll do 4xy over 8 yz. We'll do 5n minus 10 over 5n. We'll do x squared plus xy over 3x squared. And we'll also do m squared minus 25. divided by 3m plus 15. And finally, if we do question 5, we'll do y squared plus 6y minus 7 over 2y plus 14. So pause the video, try these questions yourselves, and see how you get on. Okay, so for this one, you can think of this as being 4. Just leave it as 4 times x times y. On the bottom, think of the 8 as 4 times 2. And you've also got your y and your z. Okay. So what cancels out? The 4's cancel, the y's cancel, that's you. So you're left with x on the top and 2z on the bottom. Now, let's see if we can factorize here. We're going to get a common factor of 5. That's the highest common factor. 5 brackets m minus 2 on the top, 5 times n on the bottom. The 5s cancel, so you're left with m minus 2 over n as your final answer. For question 3, you can take out a common factor of x, so you end up with a bracket of x plus y. 3x squared, you can think of it as 3 times x times x. Now, the only things that cancel out here are the x's, and we end up with x plus y on the top, and 3x on the bottom. For question 4, you should notice that the numerator is a difference of two squares, so you can factorize that as m plus 5 times m minus 5. The denominator, you can take out a uh, common factor of 3, so you end up with m plus 5. The m plus 5s cancel out, and you're left with m minus 5 on the top, and 3 as your denominator. And finally, if you factorize the trinomial here, you're going to end up with a double bracket. Factors of 7, you've only got one factor pair. You want positive 6y, so you want positive 7, negative 1. Factorize this to get a common factor of 2 you end up with two brackets y plus 7. They cancel out. You end up with a numerator of, of y minus 1 and a denominator of 2. Okay, so that's how you simplify algebraic fractions. Think of the numerator and denominator in terms of its uh, component factors. Cancel out whether it's letters, numbers, algebraic terms, anything that will cancel out until you can do no more cancelling out, and that'll be you having reached your final answer. Okay, so I hope that was helpful.